ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Joseph Novich, Group Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's session, ladies and gentlemen, is the final session for this month of advanced webinars and the month in which we've been talking binary options. Before we proceed with the uh, final two systems for this month, I would like to remind what we've learned so far. On our first session, we, we spoke about the binary options expiring. And most of all, of how we could choose our best binary options expiry compared to um, our time frames of our charts, to compare to the strategies that we use. And from then on, we evolve further to the systems that we spoke about. Firstly, we've talked about two extremely simple systems. Um, one of it was uh, using a parabolic support and resistance indicator, a very simple way to trade binary options on small time frames, as well as uh, uh, it's also suitable for uh, medium time frames like one hour and four hour charts. We also spoke about the combination of a second system uh, with uh, a slow and a faster moving average, nine period and a 14 period, their crossovers, and of course, with a combination of the uh, parabolic support and resistance, they actually form one much more powerful system with uh, better confirmation and uh, with a better filter of false signals. Also, the last time on Wednesday, we spoke about uh, a combination between stochastic oscillator, relative strength index, and two moving averages, which also create a system that is very reliable, generates um, enough trading signals, as well as it's, uh, we've been uh, uh, using it on a small time frame. Also, uh, with the uh, combination of fractals and the uh, average directional moving index, which is also on a smaller time frame between five minutes and 15 minute chart, uh, which of course my recommendation was uh, above 15 minute chart up to one hour. This is how we actually end up until today's session where one of our uh, most prized system that can be combined to trade binary options in classic forex trading. I've, uh, going, I'm, I'm actually going to leave it for last today. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about uh, um, a complex system that involves uh, two indicators, which of course can be combined also with the uh, candlestick formations and chart patterns, but as a standalone system, it is also uh, working pretty well and generates uh, eight, seven to eight profitable trades out of 10. Uh, we will see pretty much the examples uh, later on today uh, when we proceed with the system itself. But before that, I would like to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, in the next few days uh, on our registration form in our website, uh, we're going to upload our new webinars for the next month. Uh, we're going to um, you know, upload them about a week earlier, only to give you enough time to review what is interesting for you, uh, so you can have time to think about it, whether you want to, uh, you know, uh, attend those webinars, uh, so you will have enough time to uh, apply, to register, and of course, uh, to ask your questions uh, meanwhile, and whatever that is uh, interesting for you. And of course, uh, for those that are attending our webinars, uh, we have uh, special surprises uh, for new registrants, uh, for new traders that are coming to our platform, uh, whether it's uh, a type of a bonus system created especially for you or something else. You can always uh, get in touch with us by going on our website, gdmfx.com. And of course, you can uh, ask your questions on the pop-up chart, uh, chat, which uh, our support department will answer uh, as quickly as possible to all requests, or of course, if you have an emergency case and 
We are always uh, available at our telephone uh, numbers, which you can find on our website as well. That is basically uh, the advantages for trading with uh, GDM. Quick and accurate support, on-time answers, and of course, a help that you can receive for any type of cases of the market conditions. The first system, ladies and gentlemen, today that we're going to talk about uh, also involves the parabolic support and resistance. However, with the combination of another uh, particular indicator, which we also spoke about uh, about it this month of webinars, uh, also form a very, very special and very accurate uh, particular trading system which can allow you to trade binary options. Now, why I'm doing all these type of combinations? Uh, well, the, the simple answer is that uh, some people understand uh, oscillators, for example, much better than uh, uh, type of moving averages or uh, uh, trend confirmation and trend reversal uh, type of uh, uh, indicators uh, or something like that. Now, for any different case, for every different person, we can develop a system that can work best for you and that can fit to your trading plan, no matter whether you're a short-term, mid-term or long-term trader, whether you are, um, uh, you know, a doctor or an engineer, it matters little. The only thing is that you need to have uh, a will to learn and furthermore, the rest is our, lies in our, our hands to provide you with the on-time information about uh, market conditions and, of course, to give you uh, our own opinion about the market, whether you are willing to uh, use it in your trading or not. Now, um, in, in the beginning, when I have uh, started my uh, trading experience, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of my favorite type of systems, which uh, is, let's say, um, no longer uh, useful to me as a standalone system for classic trading, but uh, for the past uh, uh, more than six months, I've uh, reevaluated this system by uh, using it on binary options only. Small time frame, you know, long ago I've been using it on a mid-term mid -term trading like uh, one hour and four hour charts uh, up to daily chart. It was uh, very useful. Right now, the market conditions and the fundamentals that uh, have changed for so many years, uh, this particular system has only two indicators involving, uh, is not particularly accurate, uh, let's put it this way to trade on a mid to long term, especially when it comes to classic trading. But turning our attention to binary options, the accuracy of both, uh, of both indicators, one of it which is uh, slower than the other, and when they align in time, for example, in direction, uh, they gives us uh, a very powerful binary option opportunity to trade in the direction of uh, the particular suggested uh, trend of the combination of those tools. There is uh, more to that strategy, however, because, uh, um, you know, I, I keep trying to improve it uh, with a combination of another uh, indicators to uh, make it work uh, well enough for classic trading because both tools involving the parabolic support and resistance and the stochastic oscillator can generate uh, enormous profit potential signals, uh, especially when it comes to uh, calm waters, or let's put it this way, um, market conditions which have um, minim medium volatility, uh, also um, without any interference from uh, government or officials, their uh, own speeches, for example, or any fundamentals that can change the market direction suddenly and generate a, a huge loss. Uh, that is why when speaking about binaries, this particular factor that can relate to uh, a negative balance to our accounts is eliminated because the only thing that we're bound to is the ticking clock that are counting down to our binary option expiry.
What would be the period? We'll find out gradually when going through. The first thing that we have to review is the settings for the parabolic support and resistance, as I mentioned earlier. This is our first stage of uh, incorporating the strategy to our charts. Um, let's see if I still have it here, yes. Uh, the settings, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be pretty much the same. The step of the uh, oscillator is going to be 0 0.05 on a maximum of 0 0.2 for a very simple reason that the default settings of 0 0.02 and 0 0.2's maximum gives us a very huge step and that's a very delaying uh, type of uh, indication of a particular trend. The 0 0.02 is, uh, it, um, is much more comfortable to be used in a classic trading and combination of di different uh, indicators have as we've been talking about uh, in our previous uh, webinars which are involved for classic trading only. Now the input is pretty much the same as we spoke about uh, two sessions ago. This is how, uh, how it looks. Uh, we can of course uh, thicken a little bit those dots uh, so we can better see uh, what the trend is and it's much bigger so it can actually, you know, poke your eyes out uh, when it appears above or below the price, uh, suggesting us, of course, when the uh, dots appear below the price, the trend is going up, and vice versa, if the price is uh, on the top side, the trend is going down. Uh, the um, rule here of the system, um, you know, is that uh, when, when the alignment between two indicators occur, we cannot wait longer than uh, four to five uh, sessions or 45 dots before the second particular indicator aligns or confirms. So that suggests that at some point of time we have to abandon the signal because of the smaller time frame, because of the uh, uh, volatility that can uh, be generated at this uh, particular time frame, uh, we do not want to take any additional risks. So once we have already incorporated that uh, support and resistance parabolic, now we're going to take a look at that stochastic and the settings. Now for the uh, parameters, I have uh, confirmed that settings of 533 would be much more suitable for a stochastic oscillator in this case. However, for the uh, particular reason why I need to know which one's crossing which, and in a moment of, uh, let's say, in a moment of a, uh, uh, a stress of uh, uh, a lot of positions that I've made, let's say, sometimes you get might get confused by the main line and the signal line of that stochastic. So we're going to make it, the main line is uh, green or lime, I pretty much prefer the lime, it's uh, much more sharper uh, as it looks, and the other one, uh, which we are going to uh, leave as red, this is our uh, signal line, but of course we're not going to use the dots, we're just going to use a straight line, and it looks like this. It's much more sharper, it looks much better in, in a contrast with the uh, rest of the indicators uh, here and here, and of course it's much more comfortable for me how it appears on my charts and it's not hurting my eyes while of course looking at it uh, for a very long period of time. Now the thing here that you can see ladies and gentlemen is uh, uh, something that we will also change and this is the levels of this uh, particular stochastic indicator. No, we're no longer going to use 20 and 80. Now 20 and 80 uh, we can use on classic trading, but here we know from our previous teachings that the, st the stochastic oscillator is very fast. So we need those extremums to pinpoint previously where the market is expected to reverse. Because we're trading binaries and everything is, is going down to the very second. Therefore, we need those extremums to better suggest our position and the direction of it. Therefore, 
levels will be changed to 10 and 90. I am not interested in the zeros and 100s here uh, because those extremums are very, very rarely reached and what we need is frequent signals with high accuracy. Therefore, we need to filter out all of these particular hikes from the oscillator because it's very fast. Therefore, we need these extremums. That's how our false signals are dropping out of the picture right away. So anytime those extremums are reached, we can expect a signal to our system. Before I start scrolling back on the charts and start finding, uh, you know, in, in the past uh, more generated signals, uh, I will start with those that we see right now on the chart. We, we have uh, an extremum here. We have an extremum here and one which was over here, of course. And this one here. Now those are the cases that we will work on for the next few minutes. Let's take a look what the stochastic is doing. First of all, the uh, uh, stochastic line is touching the extreme of overbought conditions. And of course, is crossing the signal line to the downside. Because the signal line, for example, is slower than the uh, main line, obviously. That's why we need that extremum here, because the signal line is going to, uh, uh, the main line is going to touch the uh, particular uh, extremum level, then it's going to reverse, cross over the signal line, which is generating a signal, and continue its route down. But what is happening with the parabolic here is that it's a bullish parabolic with a bearish stochastic. So no matter we see those dots occurring over here, our stochastic is aligning up. This is not a signal because we're not anywhere near that level of oversold conditions, which is the extremum of level of 10. And we're not interested in hikes above that line. This is how we're filtering our false signals. Because once you start backtesting this system, if you have the skills, of course, to uh, uh, to write it on MQL and just make it as a robot, for example, that will also work. Uh, you will see when you start backtesting that when you take the levels of, uh, uh, of 10, for example, you will see how, uh, uh, how better your uh, false signals in your negative positions are filtered out instead of you take the custom levels of 20. Therefore, this one drops out of the picture and we're not trading it. One of the rules. All of these should point in one and the same direction. The next thing what happens here is a decline in parabolic, which is slower, we have that in mind, and an extremum already reached by the, uh, the oscillator here. In the next attempt, you can see another attempt of the extremum of uh, 10 has been made, but another bearish parabolic. The next thing we see is that parabolic is flipping over. But this is our entry signal because the crossover has already bounced off of that level of 10, which is the extreme level, suggesting that there is a strong support over here and our parabolic support and resistance is giving us a bullish signal, which is a delaying indicator. One more time, I'm saying it's a delaying indicator. When this one closes, we already see the dot appearing down here. Therefore, our entry signal is from here with an expiry at least two up to three sessions. One, two, or three sessions. I would recommend two sessions. That would be ideal. Another thing is the next appearance of our parabolic. We can see how high the volatility here is. We see the parabolic touching over here, and the stochastic is crossing over first after a series of parabolics. So you see, these are the conditions, series of parabolics, 
crossover on the extremum of the stochastic and then a change of direction of the parabolic that is coming over here. And again, two or three sessions, we have to decide how to uh, take our expiry. Now I will take, of course, uh, not more than two. Some of you might prefer three sessions. Uh, this session is closing. The parabolic occurs. Our opening is here. One, two sessions. It's a profitable position. Another case, after a series of attempts to uh, break further up in the overbought conditions, we see the sideways market already. Uh, we've been entering into a bearish direction from the parabolic. A bullish signal is occurring here on the stochastic. After again a series of parabolics, two parabolics, and on the third, our signal occurs a bullish signal giving us a negative position. But this is after two, three profitable positions, we're getting a series of one. Exceptions we can always make. Now let's have a look further back and see another case, another few cases, extremum here, extremum here. Why I have missed, uh, sorry, the extremum is over here, the first one. Why I'm having the, uh, why I'm not taking this one, it's simply because it didn't cross my level of 10, or at least touch it. Let's take another look further back. The ideal, of course, for any system to work is uh, when the market is trending, obviously. We don't want to trade in a choppy sideways direction, only to end up in more losable positions. But I, I want to be absolutely thorough and of course, be uh, uh, you know accurate as possible to suggest um, any market possibilities by giving you the examples of a normal trader that has little or you know just a little bit more experience, but he's not a professional trader. So let's say this is uh, these are our market conditions. We see that the market is trending. There is another extremum here. We can see not this one, of course. This extremum is uh, very close to, uh, just sorry, just a little bit because the uh, questions from you guys are popping into my uh, chart all the time. So uh, the extremum here has been hit. We see that the parabolic is still bullish here and the crossover occurs in the second parabolic. We're not considering taking this position obviously, because we don't have them in line. Although, over here when the parabolic changes, we have a good, a good interest in taking this position. But to filter in the future moments when uh, the uh, uh, stochastic is going to give us uh, a bearish signal, uh, in the next case when uh, we see that particular uh, indicator showing us bearish signal, but it's already way below the, the uh, the 50 level, which of course you can mark it as well. And this is uh, something for you. But for a trained eye, you don't really need that uh, uh, middle level uh, to suggest that it's already way over the uh, half of the volatility down to tell you that uh, uh, the signal should not be considered as a tradable signal. Another case of uh, a false signal, we have two, three bond of parabolics low volatility here, the stochastic is turning to the upside suggesting higher volatility, but we don't have the parabolic on the bottom to suggest an up movement. That's why I have decided to pick those two levels here and here and also, one more time, these conditions. Now let's see if we change it into 0.02 you can see how flattened it looks. And once we've done that, we see that the conditions that we've been trading in are ultimately changed. The series of the parabolics are now disappearing and they're uh, giving you um, a slightly delayed overview of the market conditions. 
but let's bring it back to our initial our initial interest. We need that that distance between those parabolics. So we, we spoke about it uh, earlier. The tighter they get, of course, it suggests that it's it's a uh, uh, a correction ahead or a sideways direction. Uh, the further they get uh, one from each other, that suggests higher volatility and, of course, a further direction to the downside, but we're not trading it on its own. Another case, as I mentioned, of uh, a false signal occurs after two bullish, uh, bearish uh, parabolics and a stochastic moving from bottom to the top. This is another case of where we should stay away from it. Also another case comes here where we see the first move to the extremum on the uh, 90 level. The bullish parabolic suggests further move to the upside. It's not reversed yet. Having a look at the uh, second extremum here, we see that the market stays in over bought conditions. So if we have to mark the crossover here occurring on the uh, signal line in the main line, we see the series of parabolics. So this is a signal that we might consider when the parabolic flips over. It flips us over one, two sessions and we're done. Let's scroll a little bit back, see further confirmations of this uh, system to see how it looks and this is because it's a 15 minute chart we're looking at, uh, at conditions for the past two three days how it actually uh, occurred this is one case this is another case and we're gonna take this one so I don't have to delete it later this is another case the first case is also a false signal suggesting us that the direction of the stochastic to the upside is after a series but not more than four or five series of parabolics giving us an opportunity to stand that down. This one however is a signal where after a series of parabolics will give us a negative position. So these are the exceptions, ladies and gentlemen, of this system. So far, we've generated about five or six neutral signals, three positive signals, plus another one that it's fourth signal, that it's positive, and two on the minus. That gives us two profitable, two negative, and four neutral. And that's only in the past two or three days on one currency pair on 15-minute chart. Now, if you switch to five-minute chart, which is also suitable, the number of trades that you will generate are much more, and of course, the opportunities are much more as well. After a series of parabolics, the flipped position here, that we have one, one, two trades, and a profitable one. This is how it looks. It's not, uh, it's not difficult. There is uh, uh, nothing that uh, cannot be understood by a uh, basic trader, let's say. Another, uh, it, there are two more uh, opportunities here if we scroll back. Series of parabolics. The parabolic is flipping over one, two sessions and we're collecting the profits. Here is pretty much aligned. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, this, after the series of parabolics, we have uh, a flipped parabolic here one, two positions. After two sessions, we are collecting our profits. So, even if we uh, keep scrolling back, you can see that on every uh, uh, third position, one is uh, either neutral or uh, in in a loss. So this is how uh, how it looks. Uh, this is from uh, every perspective, from from the loss to the uh, neutral uh, particular. Uh, signal or for the uh, uh, negative positions as well. Now, just because the time is pressing us very strongly and right now is uh, coming out the GDP of uh, US, which is a very important piece of data, 
and just because we are going to have a lot of possibilities to trade in the next uh, uh, few hours, I'm going to just uh, go ahead with the absolute appetizer for today with the uh, system that uh, we are uh, going to conclude today's session and of course give you an option to uh, trade this uh, volume, this volatility that it's uh, going to occur in the next few hours uh, after the uh, um, uh, the GDP numbers which I'm not going to turn my attention to right now because uh, uh, the market direction for today will be in line with uh, the expectations as we had in the morning. Uh, for those that were trading with us and uh, we've clarified uh, some of these uh, opportunities uh, already know uh, what we think and what we've actually predicted about the numbers. So um, the system that we're going to take a look uh, right now uh, is a system that uh, part of it we've been using in a uh, uh, an advanced system for classic forex trading but the system is uh, mostly focusing a, a larger time frame I'm talking about a four hour chart I can see, ladies and gentlemen, let me just uh, avert my attention to the questions that you have. They're popping up on the chart very, very quickly, one after another. So I've uh, just hide them out so I can have space to work on. But I'm going to return to some of those questions as soon as I'm done with the uh, system it, it's at hand. Uh, for more complex uh, questions that need a little bit more explanation, I'm not going to lose you the time to uh, answer here, but I'm going to send you uh, a dedicated email with the answer itself or I'm just going to give you a phone call if you've left uh, such a, uh, a telephone number on, on the registration. So um, all of this will be answered as soon as possible after the session is concluded. So without delaying too much, uh, the, um, the system right now involves 4-hour chart and the commodity channel index. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, place it over, over the chart. Where was it? I think it was on custom. Yep, there it is. Now, what we've learned for uh, our years of trading and uh, our experience and, of course, the meaning of the uh, commodity channel index itself right now is that the period needs to be pre-calculated no matter if we're trading binaries or classic forex trading. Why is that? Very simply put, because all the systems that uh, are trading, uh, traders are using right now, no matter if it's from our webinars, uh, you know, uh, customized for them specifically, or they found in somewhere on the web, uh, everything originated from forex trading, so all of these indicators have to be customized and prepared accordingly to the chart and the time frame that you're looking at. Now, specifically for our four-hour chart and specifically for the commodity channel index as an oscillator that, use, that uh, is used by a variety of, in, um, of investors and uh, technical traders to uh, determine future price behavior by uh, uh, having in mind past performance, a substantial growth in popularity for this particular indicator brings it to uh, attention to all of us as uh, one of the imminent indicators that we have to have on our charts. Why is that? It's because it's a volatility indicator that can not, uh, also suggest a trend reversal direction. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, to predict that trend reversal it is actually something that pre-happens on the commodity channel index, but it happens in uh, uh, a few sessions after uh, the market uh, has uh, concluded the trend itself. How to determine that? First, we need to calculate the period. We've done that by uh, uh, our many type of calculations during our sessions. Uh, once we've uh, just place it on our charts with a period of 14, with a period that it's, uh, how to say, uh, by default. One thing we need to understand is that on a weekly chart, we need to find where the two bottoms of, the two recent bottoms uh, of the chart itself. One occurs here, the other one occurs over here. And we can see that this is 37 
candles or 37 weeks. Now, why I'm saying that, um, you've seen that in our previous teachings when we've been using for classic forex trading the commodity channel index, how we've calculated it. So the, uh, the um, formula, I'm not going to bring it out to save a little bit more time, but you can find it in our recorded webinars, uh, how to uh, calculate that quickly as possible. I'm going to do it for you. Now, we take this 37 period and we have to convert that in trading days. We know that this is 37 weeks. We know that in one week we have five trading days, five working days. We multiply the 37 by five and we're getting 185 trading days in 37 weeks. We divide it on three and we're getting 61.66 in period. So you can see that 66 in period is larger than half. Therefore, we're gonna take not 61, but 62 as a period of the commodity channel index. Firstly, this is how we, ha we have it on our, on our charts. Now, when we change the value of that period to 62, it looks like that. You can see how it suggests a peak, a top. And if you have to put a moving average, we can see that it's declining from two tops here. That means the volatility starts dropping, the price is well along with it, crossing the 100 level, giving us an opportunity to trade to the downside until the market crosses the minus 100 level where we should consider closing our positions or half of our positions and wait until it breaks above, clearly above that level. But why we're using this for binary options? Well, while you are trading this trend, you have already found an opportunity to, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, place long positions uh, uh, for a longer period of time, I mean. But once the commodity channel index reaches that convergence level, pointing to a trend reversal on the second bottom here, not this one because it's a very small one and it's a couple of sessions after that's uh, on the four hour chart. But this second low is actually the bottom of the trend. From then on it starts reversing and you can see the uh, bunch of uh, candlesticks here trying to breach that trend for, for uh, four or five sessions one after another. The trend has been broken over here with the confirmation of this bullish candle, which touches the trend. It's not yet broken, but it simply touches it. And a professional trader would exit all positions of this trend right over here. Not here, not here, but here as a confirmation. Because that volatility might still be high enough if it's not broken at the minus 100 level. And it could keep declining to a new low. Therefore, the trend might continue the same way, which is actually a perfect downward channel, but that doesn't really matter because it's one and the same. But what we're interested in is uh, the opportunity we have here as binary options traders. If we're both once trading that trend, second, the closing of this session here and the opportunity we have when it opens also, the rule here is not more than two sessions, but note here on 15 minute chart. Once it's broken and the, broke, the broken trend was here, this is where the, uh, uh, let's confirm, it could have been this one, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but it could have been the first one as well. So let's first see how it looks on the four hour chart, just place the market, the marker here on uh, that particular uh, bullish candle where it breaks that trend, go back to that 15 minute chart and see that it's actually not as, look because it's a 15 minute chart on the four hour chart looks a little bit different as you can see, but it doesn't matter. After the trend is broken, we have two, not more than three sessions into the direction of the broken trend to consider our profit. 
which means in those conditions the volatility is so uh, so big the momentum is so high that the uh, reversal as you can see here down to that trend again can happen very quickly therefore when we are considering this reversal on the four hour chart we have to go down to 15 or uh, 30 minute chart for example to um, suggest not more than 30 minutes expiry or not more than uh, two sessions on 15 minute chart which is pretty much the same as 13 30 minutes on the first 30 minutes to one hour time after a trend reversal confirmation ladies and gentlemen that's a rule the volatility remains high enough but after that the volatility gradually starts falling down along with the price and of course bringing a loss therefore our expiry is not on four hour chart but rather than that it's uh, uh, two or three uh, sessions on 15 or 30 minute chart this is something for you to consider as a possibility the divergence as we mentioned earlier on that four hour chart that happens after this line occurs now you always have to connect those dots to see what the uh, direction is it could be much flatter like this like this for example but it's still two bottoms but less accurate the sharper it looks the sharper breakout you will have afterwards the flatter you get the less possible for this breakout to sustain is what we have at hand therefore using the commodity channel index to trade medium to long-term trends and of course to use it as binary options breakout is a, is a potential for you to generate multiple profits while you're uh, considering your accumulation and distribution here and here and here and here on that breakout for 30 minutes for example uh, you can just um, consider the profit that you've made so far let's say it's ten thousand dollars or okay let's be conservative uh, let's consider it's uh, five thousand dollars okay uh, considering the percentage profit that you can get here is that you can actually double it in the next 15 minutes only on that breakout so the next time you see a trend like this one for example here like this trend for example and the breakout here let's consider that possibility as well you can see that breakout occurs on a very large volume the next session usually continues in the same direction but it's only one up to two candles on the four hour chart that are actually bearish everything else starts retracing and we're not even considering the 200 exponential because we're talking about binaries so for the long period of time that you've been trading that trend let's say those five thousand dollars that you've made till here and your entry over here on the binaries and I'm not even considering this one as an entry but we need at least one candlestick to confirm that uh, particular breakout so on 15 or 30 minute chart it looks like this this is 15 this is 30 one two breakouts and a profit is collected where you can actually double it this is as simple as that something to you for you to consider what would be uh, a better option for you whether you want to trade it as uh, binary options uh, on only on breakouts with the system or you can use it as uh, as both as classic trading or uh, with binary options on breakout to uh, consider multiplying profits this is something for you to consider there is nothing that you have to do uh, for sure like a demand from us this is something for you to choose it might might not be suitable at all for your style so get back to us if you need uh, any uh, particular uh, you know um, further explanation of uh, the 
questions uh, that you might be answering or you don't understand something completely uh, from the webinar, we are always there to help you out with whatever you need. That's all for today's session. I will uh, return to the questions uh, that you uh, have already posted in an email or a telephone call as soon as possible. The time is advancing extremely quickly. We all need to get back to our trading because uh, uh, from now on the market starts confirming on the numbers of the GDP and I also have to take a look at those so I can consider my positions for the rest of the week and from the beginning of next week. Thank you for joining us for this month of binary options webinars. The new webinars for the, the, for the next month are ready, so they will be uploaded in the next few days and you can start registering from Monday. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.